it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense. Consummate stickler and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him. And eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the big martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Or till the date for this featherweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Assassin. One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Go. And we are underway here at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> nice punch there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Trying to establish the jab early on. Big punch lands. Crazy numbers round one. Big right hand there. Fast pace here in the early going. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Great timing on that double leg. Making all these shots count. with the ground and pound. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Side control now. Oh, nice. And right into side control. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape. That guy's starting to swell significantly now. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Good work. Those are big strikes. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, punches and punches all to the head. Beautiful combination. He's hurt now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Absolutely getting after it. Huge shots made by both sides. That is it! Oh my goodness! Yeah, that.
That right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.